A very good afternoon, dear students. I am here once again with a different topic. So, like I've already informed you yesterday, we have completed the lesson for term two from first light. And uh, today we will be starting a new chapter from your supplementary reader titled Footprints Without Feet. Now, children, I would want you all to understand a few things as to why supplementary reader has been introduced to you guys. Now please remember, supplementary reader is actually supposed to be, me uh, supposed to be read by you all without the help of teachers. Now why has this been done? Is so that you all develop the love for reading. You know, along with the other skills like writing, speaking and listening, reading is also considered to be very important skill for a child to imbibe. And it can be in any language. It doesn't necessarily stick to English alone. Now, reading, whether you are reading for information, whether it is for pleasure or say you are trying to, uh, you know, uh, connect to your previous knowledge. It is actually done to, uh, you know, when you read, what actually happens is it develops your confidence and also uh, really helps in, you know, increasing your uh, vocabulary, which is very important. So now, if you are to look at your book, okay, if you are to look at your book uh, titled Footprints Without Feet, what you will get to see is that a story has been divided into four parts. As in there is a story, but then there are four other uh, topics that you all have to take, uh, you know, uh, you all actually have to take consideration into, okay? <coughs> so, before you read any lesson, for example, today we will be starting chapter 6, okay? So, please open your text to page number 32. Now, what you will get to see is, in the beginning of the lesson, before you actually read, you will find a subheading titled, Read and Find Out. Now, what is that? Now, each piece begins with questions, so as to guide you with your reading of your text. So, in the beginning of the lesson only, you get to see questions. And... Those questions deal with what you will find, okay? So, the, like the topic is read and find out. So, after reading this piece, these are the questions to whose answers you will find in that text. So, that is very important. From that, there, you will get to know the basic idea of what you are about to read. Then... At the end of the lesson, you will again get to see another subtopic and it is called Think About It. Okay, now what is that for? Well, here again, the author has, uh, you know, uh, provided you all with open-ended and thought-provoking questions. Now why? Why has the author done that? so as to encourage you to contemplate in the issues that the text raises. Okay, so thinking about is, it is another subtopic that you'll have to consider after the lesson is over. Then there is a, another subtopic titled, Talk About It. Now, talk about it is something 
that will help you express your ideas and beliefs in a creative and logical or uh, let's say reasonable way. It also helps you to develop a constructive analysis or study or you can even say evaluation of relevant issues involving critical thinking, reasoning, previous knowledge and new knowledge. And the last topic is suggested reading. So here the author has uh, you know hinted out or given some names of uh, books so as to encourage you to read on your own and uh, so that you can be independent and not dependent on your teachers or elders. So if you follow this book the way the writer has asked you to then mark my words you will really find the lesson interesting. And you will not just uh, be learning about uh, the uh, text, the contents in the text, but you will also be, uh, you know, developing uh, ideas. You will be actually thinking critically. You will be, um, you know, reading new books. That will uh, be, you know, that's related to the uh, contents of your text. So that this is why supplementary reader has been given to you. So now, children, let's turn to page number 32. So this is your host, Vesa Ma'am, from Diwali Government Girls Senior Secondary School. And today we will be focusing on Lesson 6, titled, The Making of a Scientist. This has been written by Robert W. Peterson. So Robert W. Peterson was an American newspaper writer who later became a freelancer and an author of magazine articles and books, especially on scouting and sports. So children, I have already given you the name of the title of the lesson, that is, Making of a Scientist. So what do you think are the qualities that a person requires in order to become a scientist? Or what do you think are the qualities that make a good scientist? Now if I am to answer that, I would definitely say that a scientist needs to be curious. A scientist also needs to be patient. I use the word patient because it so happens that sometimes, you know, a scientist will have to repeat an experiment multiple number of times. And there will be times when uh, it will be a complete disaster. He or she might fail in his or her experiment. So if the person is not patient, then he or she will not be able to handle the situation and will be again a failure. So, of course, a scientist has to be a patient person. Then, a scientist also needs to be courageous. Now, I already told you, there will be times when a scientist will fail, where a scientist will make errors in his or her experiments. So, when he or she is trying to do different things, there will be failures and if a person is not brave enough to, you know, uh, face those failures or those challenges, then it will be futile. It will be useless. Then I also feel a scientist needs to have, uh, you know, they need to have uh, the ability to solve problems and they need to uh, be really good uh, in terms of, you know, thinking. They need to be critical thinkers, in simple words. They need to be able to analyze information and also make critical decisions. And last, I personally feel that a scientist needs to have work ethics and maintain professional discipline. That is very important. So having said that, let us come to the text. So I'm going to read the book line by line and I'm going to try to explain in the uh, most simple manner that I can. 
Okay? So now I've already told you, before we start a lesson, we need to read and find out. So after reading this, we are going to find out these answers to these questions. Like there is a question here. How did the book become a turning point in Richard E. Bright's life? Ewa kitab se, yo Richard E. Bright bane manche ko life ma se, kasi di ewa change layo. Okay, so that's the question and we will find the answer as we read the text. Now number two question is, how did his mother help him? Yota, I'm sure everybody must have understood, it's very simple English. So how did his mother become a major, you know, uh, source of inspiration for him? Or how did she help him? So now children, I want you all to be ready with your textbook, your copy and a pencil and a pen. Pencil because there might be words which you need to, you know, uh, underline. And a pen and a note copy so that... Uh, as in when you find answers, you may jot it down quickly. So now, this is how the lesson starts. At the age of 22, a former scout of the year excited the scientific world with a new theory on how cells work. Richard H. E. Bright and his college roommate explained the theory in an article in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Science. It was the first time this important scientific journal had ever published the work of college students. In sports, that would be like making the big leagues at the age of 15 and hitting a home run your first time at bat. For Richard Ebright, it was the first in a long string of achievements in science and other fields. And it all started with butterflies. So now we are being introduced to a person by the name of Richard H. Ebright. So here the author has written saying that when Richard was 22 years, okay, he and one of his very intelligent uh, friend, excited the scientific world. That means they thrilled the scientific world with a new theory on how cells work. So Richard E. Bright usko sati. Richard E. Bright se 22 barsa hunda ra usko ek zana sati le se. Science world ma yota noya theory layo. Ra tiyo theory se kisko bisa ima teo? Hamru cells se kasiri kaam garsa. How our cells work? Itti ramro theory teo. It was so good that, you know, this article was published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Science. Itti dami leke ko te unali yo theory, hai, yo cells ko bhi sayi ma, that unali ko yo work, yo article se, Proceedings of the National Academy of Science bane ma chapi ho. Okay? Ra Proceedings of National Academy of Science bane se ki rahi sa bande se, it is an important scientific journal. Ra kai le pani esko agari se, kai le pani college student ko se, kai le pani they had never printed any article written by college student. This was the first time. And since it was the first time, it was, you know, a very uh, thing to be proud of. So nea bhande isa ta pere ko, in sports that would be like making a big league. Okay? Ra bhande isa, amile sports ko kura ganu pani obji. Okay, if we are to talk about sports, sports ma abji, this is the league ko jisto, this to ni science ma pin, this the hasil gare ko bara baro. Rabandai sa, Richard E. Bright, it was the first in a long string of achievements. Shanu dikhin, this uh, Richard E. Bright bani ke ta, ule ek tamay dalak to achieve, hasil gade 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 aye ko thiyo, but you say, it was the first, etro lamo, you know, yo, u, yo age ma pukta se, esto dami hasil gano se, it was the first time. Shen shen nu tole jite ne aye ko teo. Okay? And they are saying, it is, it all started with butterflies. Rakhi ba kore se, now what is his connection with butterflies? Let's see. As only child, Ebright grew up north of Reading, Pennsylvania. 
There wasn't much I could do there, he said. I certainly couldn't play football or baseball with a team of one. But there was one thing I could do, collect things. Rabande said he was the only child in the family. And he grew up in a place called Reading in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is in America. Rabande said because he was the only child, he used to feel so lonely. He had no one to play with. Sati thena ke nu erai sora bhai ko karan nega de erai nani bhai ko karan nega de heli. He didn't have friends to play with. Hey, football mein ke nu ichha onte but he didn't have friends. So yota chiz se ule gono sakte hari ekle. Right, that was to collect things. Chiz eru bottle nu. So he did, and did he ever? Beginning in kindergarten, Ebright collected butterflies with the same determination that has marked all his activities. He also collected rocks, fossils, and coins. He became an eager astronomer too, sometimes stargazing all night. Rabandai sir. The only thing he could do was collect things, and he did collect, and with a lot of enthusiasm and determination. Ule, yuta cheese ekle gono sakti tu isi cheese bottle nu. Ratiyo bani ule ek tamay jos lagay ra gorti ore, right? Ule kya kisi bottle thi ore? So let's see. He collected rocks, hey, fossils and coins. Fossils are uh, remains of animals and. Uh, रक्स ढुंगा हो कॉइन्स रेची सो देन भो कलेक्ट कर बाहेक हि ऑल्सो बिकेम एन एस्ट्रोनॉमर ओके एस्ट्रोनॉमर न व्हाट डज एन एस्ट्रोनॉमर डू यू ऑल मस्ट बी नोइंग सो यस लाइक एन एस्ट्रोनॉमर हि यूज टू गेज एट स्टार्स एंड दैट टू ऑल नाइट है उ सायद स्टार्स एकदम मन पर्थ्य हो यूज टू बी सो फैसिनेटेड दैट उसे रात से एस्ट्रोनॉमर को काम करते रे करते भाई एस्ट्रोनॉमर को काम से उसे स्टार्स हेथ अरे फ्रम द फर्स्ट ही हेड अ ड्राइविंग क्यूरियोसिटी अलॉंग विथ अ ब्राइट माइंड सो सी ही हेड अ ड्राइविंग क्यूरियोसिटी यू वॉज अलवेज इगर टू नो मोर उ जैसे भाई तो हंगर थे क्या के फ्रम वेयर वाई बट इफ He was always full of uh, questions, and of course, he was very intelligent, bright mind. But he was Gani. He also had a mother who encouraged his interest in learning. She took him on trips, bought him telescopes, microscopes, cameras, mounting materials, and other equipments, and helped him in many other ways. Rabandai sir, usko ma se kiye thiyo na. What was it in him that you know actually made him become the man he was? The first thing, of course, is his curiosity. He was very curious, Rabandai sir. Second thing, of course, he was very intelligent. The third thing, he was very intelligent. He had a very doting mother. Doting means loving. Okay, doting mother and somebody who became his force. Ratiyo lady, usko ama se, she was not just loving, but she was also somebody who always pushed him to do things, whatever he liked to do. She always encouraged him. All right. Right. Tapay ruko the agari question enos number two. Question number two. Read and find out page number thirty-three. Two ma. How did his mother help him, Bandai sir? So his mother encouraged his interest in learning. Amale zayli bam encourage gario. Uli jee bam sikhnu ichha gario. Amale koi le bani discourage gario na. In fact, encourage gario. So because she saw that he was interested in science, you know, she used to take him on trips. Uli ula chutti ma bai dalanti ho. Ula telescope ki ninti ho, microscope, cameras, mounting materials. Mounting materials has to do with science, eh? Then oru equipments eru abo the. प्क्टिकल्स एक्सपेरिमेंट्स कर जे जे चाहिए सब किन्दिथ्यो आमा ने सो दिस इज हाउ सी हेल्प टेम सो दिस इज यसर टू क्वेश्चन नंबर टू आई वॉज इज ओनली कंपेनियन अंटिल ही स्टार्ट इज स्कूल हिज मदर सैड आफ्टर दैट आई वुड ब्रिंग होम फ्रेंड्स फर हिम बट एट नाइट वी जस्ट द थिंग्स टुगेदर रिची वॉज माई होल लाइफ आफ्टर हिज फादर डाइड वेन रिची वॉज इन थर्ड ग्रेड रिज मम हई उसको मम ने भाई यू नो वेन यू स्टार्ट स्कूल आई वॉज इज ओनली फ्रेंड बिकज वेन अ चाइल्ड इज स्मल अ चाइल्ड स्पेन्स मेजर अफ हिज टाइम एट होम 
है सो मेजोरिटी अफ टाइम से उसके घर में बिता को कारण घर में अरुण मं थे सो शी वॉज इज फ्रेंड ओके देन ही यूज टू गो टू स्कूल रूल बट कोई बेला मम्मा के मम्मा उसको फ्रेंड्स घर लिया सो दैट ही गो प्ले विथ दम एट होम बट एट नाइट उन्नी द टू अफ दम यूज टू बी अ लोन बिकज रिचर्ड्स फादर डाइड वेन ही वोज वेरी स्मल वेन ही वोज इन ग्रेड थ्री क्लास थ्री होता खेल उसको पापा कस्यो सो रिचर्ड को लगी कोई थे इट वॉज ओनली इज मम हू इज देयर एंड इट वॉज द वाइस वर्षा वाइस वर्षा भन्ना मम्मा को लगी छोरा मत थे सो दे वोर लाइक यू नो दे फोर ईच आर द कंटिन्ुअसली she and her son spent almost every evening at the dining room table if he didn't have things to do i found work for him not physical work but learning things his mother said he liked it he wanted to learn so then the mother is saying that the two of them they spent every evening at the dining table and sometimes there were times when he didn't have work maybe homework and all he didn't have so the mother used to give him work but it wasn't physical work kaam garnu bhara dhunu he chaina it was learning things okay it was something to do with learning and you know whenever she used to give him work he always uh, you know took it with uh, f- uh, you know full enthusiasm he liked it he liked to doing new things because he wanted to learn okay and learn he did he earned top grades in school on everyday things he was just like every other kid his mother said by the time he was in the second grade ebright had collected all 25 species of butterflies found around his hometown then like i told you the mother and son they used to be alone in the evening time the mother had to do her household chores hai ghar ko kaam garnu patyo chhora ko koi bela kaam hunthena so mother le ulai kaam dinthyo but kaam chai ghar safai esto haina physical work haina but rather learning work she used to give him some things whereby he could uh, you know use make use of his uh, brains and uh, you know maybe he used to do a lot of thinking and uh, you know all sorts of things <clears throat> so this is how the mother encouraged her son and uh, bandai sir th- this is why because he was hungry for knowledge he, he, this is the reason why he was always excellent in studies and he was like any other normal kid okay he wasn't like um, just because he was excellent in studies he wasn't different he was just like other normal kids now bandai sir when he was in class 2 ओके बट द टाइम ही वॉज इन सेकेंड ग्रेड बाई द टाइम क्लास टू पुग्ने जेल समान तो ही हेड अलरेडी कलेक्टेड ट्वेंटी फाइव स्पीसिज अफ बटरफ्लाइज बटरफ्लाइज भी धेरे प्रकार का हो रचीस प्रकार को बटरफ्लाइज से उसे कलेक्ट कर सकते थे अरे इमेजिन एंड ही वॉज ही हेड नट इविन रिस्ड क्लास टू नाउ तब पेज नंबर थर्टी थ्री में यू विल सी अ बॉक्स and there are the names of those species and subspecies of butterflies collected in 6 weeks in reading pennsylvania now these are the names of the butterflies that he caught okay so usko jagah reading bhane pennsylvania ma usko hometown tya chai jati pani ule paunu sakyo ule 25 wara jati pani paunu sakyo ule sabai tyo butterflies haru ko species paera ule he had already collected them and kept it That probably would have been the end of my butterfly collecting he said but then my mother got me a children's book called the travels of monarch 10 that book which told how monarch butterflies migrate to central america opened the world of science to the eager young collector rab as kids what happens is you know when we are when we are small we tend to have uh, uh we tend to develop different likings for example one time i want to you know dance and become a dance choreographer next time again i want to become a singer it it keeps changing you know so for this boy also collecting butterflies you know only butterfly collect kare thyo 25 ora collect kare thyo species 25 ora different species collect kare thyo shayad he saying shayad maybe teti bela mero it would have ended there the love for butterflies tebla sokthe hola but 
मेरे मम्मा ने मैं बुक दियो माई मदर गिफ्टेड मी अ बुक एंड द बुक नेम अफ द बुक वॉज द ट्रावल्स अफ मोनाक टेन मोनाक टेन इज अ नेम अफ वन टाइप अफ बटरफ्लाई ओके मोनाक टेन मोनाक राजा ओके सो दैट इज अ नेम अफ स्पीसी बटरफ्लाई को हाई रायद म मेरे ये बटरफ्लाई पच्चीसवटा जब मैं स्पीसिज कलेक्ट करें सायद आई वुड हेव गिवन अप यू नो मे बी आई वुड नट हेव एड आई वुड हेव एड लस्ट इंट्रेस्ट मे बी मैं सायद मेरे इंट्रेस्ट नहीं लूज कर सकते हुए हेड एंड टेड बीन फर माई मदर जिस मैं ये किताब दिभ रिताब को नाम से द ट्रावल्स अफ मोनाक टेन यो मोनाक टेन से को ट्रावलिंग को बारे में अब ट्रैवलिंग से कहाँ देखे कि ट्रैवलिंग ओके सो यो किताब में इट टॉक्ट अबाउट और इट टॉट अबाउट हई हाउ दिज मोनाक बटरफ्लाइज माइग्रेट टू सेंट्रल अमेरिका ओके यो बटरफ्लाइज कसरी सेंट्रल अमेरिका में माइग्रेट कर दे लिव दिस प्लेस एंड गो टू सेंट्रल अमेरिका ओके ना वी नो दैट बर्ड्स अल्सो माइग्रेट हई बर्ड्स माइग्रेट फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनादर ओके एंड दिस इज यूजली डन व्हेन द वेदर इज टू कोल्ड इट्स अनबेरेबल हई सो यो बटरफ्लाइज दे माइग्रेट रो किताब से मोनाक टेन को विषय में थी नाउ चिल्ड्रेन इफ यू लुक एट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन हाउ डिड अ बुक बिकम अ टर्निंग पॉइंट इन रिचर्ड ई ब्राइट्स लाइफ तो आंसर से तब में पुग्न भो ओके एट दी एंड अफ द बुक इट्स स्टिल कंटिन्ूज कंटिन्ू ती आंसर अभी कंटिन्ू कंटिन्ुएसन हो इट्स कंटिन्ुइंग सरी एट दी एंड अफ द बुक रिडर्स वर इन्वाइटेड टू हेल्प स्टडी बटरफ्लाई माइग्रेशन्स दे वर आर्स टू टैग बटरफ्लाइज फर रिसर्च बाय डॉक्टर फ्रेडरिक ओके फ्रेडरिक ए उर्कोहट अफ द यूनिवर्सिटी अफ टोरोटो कैनाडा ई ब्राइट्स मदर रोड टू डॉक्टर उर्कोहट and soon ebright was attaching light adhesive tags to the wings of the monarchs anyone who found a tagged butterfly was asked to send the tag to dr urkohart so then about this book was so interesting the travels of monarch 10 bani kitab it is very interesting dio last ma se practical work kari sa hai ra last ma se readers hai la wa dr urkohart bani hai he was a researcher hai he was he worked in the university of toronto ra wahan le se the last page ma se ke likhe kari sa bani bichi readers please help me ओके प्लिज हेल्प मी स्टडी बटरफ्लाई माइ अब बटरफ्लाई माइग्रेशन्स उसे लेखे रहे सो उसे काम से के देखे इंट्रेस्टेड रिडर्स जो इंट्रेस्ट उन्नी होम टाउन में बटरफ्लाइज में मैं यू नो बटरफ्लाइज पकड़े भाई तो यू नो टैग करीकन जो जो इंट्रेस्ट बटरफ्लाई में हल्का प्रकार ने कागज में लेखे बटरफ्लाई को विंग में टाँसिकन टसाईकन से पठान पड़ने रो जिस पाँच तो टैग्ड बटरफ्लाई तो टैग टैग से डॉक्टर उर्को हाटला पठान पड़ने ओके नाउ ई ब्राइट वॉज वेरी इन्क्विजिटिव आई हेव अलरेडी टोल्ड यू उसे पूरा धेरे क्यूरियोसिटी थी रही कारण ही वॉज इंट्रेस्टेड ओके अमंग द मेनी पीपल ई ब्राइट वॉज द वन ई ब्राइट अरुण धेरे मानेर थो तर ई ब्राइट भी एकजना थी जिस यू नो यो काम करना पूरा इच्छा उसको मे जागो द बटरफ्लाई कलेक्टिंग सीजन अराउंड रिडिंग लास्ट सिक्स विक्स इन अ लेट समर इफ यू आर गोइंग टू चेज दम वन बाय वन यू वोट कैच वेरी मेनी सो द नेक्स्ट स्टेप फर ई ब्राइट वॉज टू रेज अ फ्लॉक अफ बटरफ्लाइज He would catch a female monarch, take her eggs, and raise them in his basement through the life cycle, from eggs to caterpillar to pupa to adult butterfly. Then he would tag the butterfly's wings and let them go. For several years, his basement was home to thousands of monarchs in different stages of development. So, one day, sir, reading one is okay, ma. Hamile. हाई ये रिडिंग भाई जगह में बटरफ्लाइज से कलेक्ट करने सीजन से छ हप्ता होद लेट समर में अब कहींसम से बटरफ्लाई कलेक्ट कर सो ई ब्राइट अल दो ही वॉज वेरी स्मल ही वॉज वेरी इंटेलिजेंट सो उसके के गए पी उ बटरफ्लाइज एक एकजना पकड़ू तो है उसे 
यू नो एक दुईवटा ला पक्रेर फिमेल बटरफ्लाइज ला पक्रेर उले उसको घरको बेसमेन्ट ओके बेसमेन्ट इज घरको मुन्नी ताला है बाहिरको घरतिर इफ यु गो एब्रोड अर्काको घरको मुनि तिर पनि अंडरग्राउन्ड जस्तो हुन्छ जहाँ चाहिँ उनाको बेसमेन्ट हुन्छ त्यहाँ चाहिँ आइदर उनाले ग्याराज बनाको हुन्छ कि उनीहरुको घरको सामानहरु राख्ने हुन्छ ओके सो उसको घरमा पनि त्यो बेसमेन्टमा चाहिँ उले के गर्यो ही स्टार्टेड रेजिङ उले बटरफ्लाइज हरुलाई पाल्नु थाल्यो र बटरफ्लाइज हरु फिमेल बटरफ्लाइ बट उले एग्स निकालेर अण्डा निकालेर उले बेसमेन्टमा चाहिँ रेज गर्नु थाल्यो त्यो लाइफ साइकल है एग देखि क्याटरपिलर क्याटरपिलर देखि प्युपा त्यहाँ देखि प्युपा देखि एडल्ट बटरफ्लाइ यो त तपाईलाई थाहा हुनु पर्ने हो साइन्समा आई एम श्योर योर टिचर्स हैव टट यु राइट सो लाइफ साइकलको बारेमा उले त्यस्तो प्रकारले उयो गर्यो र त्यो बटरफ्लाइज हरु यु नो वान्स दे ग्रो अप उले उनीहरुको विंग्समा है ट्याग गर्यो लेख्यो र उलाई त्यो बटरफ्लाइजलाई उले फ्री गर्दियो हि लेट देम बी र कति वर्ष चाहिँ उसको बेसमेन्टलाई चाहिँ घरको बेसमेन्टलाई चाहिँ उले के बनायो उले बटरफ्लाईको यु नो रेज गर्ने जग्गा बनायो ओके इभेन्चुअली आई बिगैन टु लुज इन्ट्रेस्ट इन ट्यागिङ बटरफ्लाइज इट इज टिडियस एन्ड देयर इज नट मच फिडब्याक ही ब्राइट सेड इन ऑल द टाइम आई डिड इट ही लाफ्ड Only two butterflies I had tagged were recaptured and they were not more than 75 miles from where I lived. Rabandai sir, Tara abo samay bidde zanda as time flew by, he started getting bored. Obviously abo, ewe kaam gari gari garda khedi nani e lai bored hun sa. Ra ulai si kino bored bai na, why? Why was he bored? Banda khedi, ule bandai sir, because maile etro butterfly chode, but maile duita butterfly maate junche maile pahe. क्याप मैले क्याप्चर गरेर मैले ट्याग गरेको थिएँ र मैले छोडिदिएको थिएँ दुईजना मात्रै पक्रेहरूले यत्रो बटरफ्लाइजबाट है त्यो पनि त्यति साह्रो होइन अरे टाढो होइन अरे सरी अबाउट सेभेन्टी फाइभ माइल्स सेभेन्टी फाइभ माइल्स भनेपछि अब आई एम नट भेरी गुड एट इट बट आई थिङ्क इट्स रफली बिट्विन से यहाँदेखि सिलगढी पुगेको जस्तो होला है सो त्यत्रो टाढोमा चाहिँ उसले पाइहाल्यो अरे तर दुईटा मात्रै पाए अरे सो ही बिकेम टायर्ड र नाउ चिल्ड्रेन पेज नम्बर फिफ्टी फोर लास्ट प्याराग्राफ फर्स्ट लाइन लास्ट वर्ड हेर्नुहोस् त टिडियस टिइडिआइओयुएस टिडियस नाउ टिडियस भनेको के हो इट इट मिन्स स्लो टायरिङ इट्स अ टिडियस वर्क भन्छ नि भेरी बोरिङ टायरिङ वर्क स्लो वर्क ओके सो तपाईँको आन्सर नाउ नम्बर वन र नम्बर टूको आन्सर पाउनु भयो हाउ डि द बुक बिकम अ टर्निङ पोइन्ट इन रिचर्ड इ ब्राइट्स लाइफ भन्दाखेरि इट वाज थ्रु द्याट बुक द्याट रिचर्ड यु नो हेल्प्ड डक्टर ए उर्को हार्ट टु स्टडी अबाउट बटरफ्लाई माइग्रेसन एन्ड ही अल्सो वेन टु द एक्सटेन्ट अफ मेकिङ हिज बेसमेन्ट हिज यु नो प्लेस वेयर ही एक्चुअली ग्र्यू the butterflies and he tagged them and sent them free and also uh, this book taught about uh, you know the monarch butterflies who migrate to central america so in a way it actually uh, helped him uh, you know uh, it uh, helped him uh, you know open it helped him uh, sorry it helped him uh, more okay it he- it made him more eager to um, uh, study uh, science so you can say that all right now let's read the second section of the story okay we are running out of time so in case we do not get over with this lesson today we will continue it tomorrow so no worries all right okay now Again page number 54 has questions What lesson does Ebright learn when he does not win anything at a science fair Jab ule science fair ma mela hai science ko mela ma ule jitena ule ke jitena prize jitena what lesson does he learn ke ule gyan sikhcha tya bata Number 2 what experiments and projects does he then undertake त्यहाँ उसले के वट डज ई स्टडी एन्ड देन प्रोजेक्टहरू के प्रोजेक्ट र एक्सपेरिमेन्ट चाहिँ उसले के के नयाँ यु नो गर्नु ट्राई गर्छ र नम्बर थ्री वट आर द क्वालिटिज द्याट गो इन टू द मेकिङ अफ अ साइन्टिस्ट र साइन्टिस्ट बनो बन्नु लागि के के क्वालिटिज चाहिन्छ सो यो तिनटाको आन्सर चाहिँ तपाईँले 
अब यो नया सेक्शन जो जो आमिले पढ़ने वाला था त्यो पढ़े रहे जो यू विल डेफिनेटली फाइंड फाइंड द आंसर्स टू दिस क्वेश्चंस अलराइट सो हियर आई गो देन इन द सेवेंथ ग्रेड ही गोट अ हिंट ऑफ व्हाट रियल साइंस इज व्हेन ही एंटर्ड अ काउंटी साइंस फेयर एंड लॉस्ट it was really a sad feeling to sit there and not get anything while everybody else had won something ebright said his entry was slides of frog tissues which he showed under a microscope he realized the winners had tried to do real experiments not simply make a neat display okay so then when he was in class 7 what happened was He took part in a science fair, okay, science ko mela ma hai, and there was a competition, and he took part in it, but he lost, okay. Who had you? But who had the hiripani? He learned something very important. Let's see. He really felt sad. Everybody feels dejected when they lose. Nobody wants to lose, right? Everybody would want to become a winner, but then. the nature of life the nature of competition is such that sometimes we lose and they say failure is a step to success so <coughs> likewise when when uh, you know you you lose sometimes what happens is it becomes a blessing in disguise for you because you tend to learn new things hai zindagi ma haar bhanne ta kasai lai man pardaina Everybody wants to win. तर कोई बेला हार बने इस तो उनसा है र जस्ट लेजी तो पहले सबक सिखाऊं सा, ओके हार लेजी तो पहले स्ट्रॉंगर बनाऊं सा, हार ले तो पहले इस तो हाँ कि मानसे बनाऊं सा जान से तो पहले यू नो कुछ कर्सु बने थानू उन्स। So then यो कंपटीशन में he lost उले हार यो र उले एक तमे मन पुन्नी दुखियो, है तर उसले क्या सीखियो? That competition maze science ko competition humse it has to be real experiments experiment kore ra matte huncha science ko naksa dekhai ra jai na ra e bright se shanu ule se project se ke dekha ko thiyo bhani ji ule frogs ko tissues ko bare ma dekha thiyo tara slides banaye ra ओके नक्सा बनाईकन तैंक मानी माइक्रोस्कोप हेरिकन हाई तो नक्सा चेंज कर दिए उसे देखा थे सो उसे रियलाइज गयो ये हार बट उसे रियलाइज गयो दैट साइंस को एक्सपेरिमेंट से रियल होता नक्सा होके सो दैट इज आंसर टू योर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन व्हाट लेसन डज ई ब्राइट लर्न आंसर से यही हो तब को He रियलाइज दैट विनर्स आर ट्राई टू डू रियल एक्सपेरिमेंट्स नट सीम्पली मेक अ नीट डिस्प्ले सो Hey, this is the lesson that he learnt. Okay. Already the competitive spirit that drives Richard E. Bright was appearing. I knew that for the next year's fair, I would have to do a real experiment. He said, "The subject I knew most about was the insect work I had been doing in the past several years." Then, uh, from here, from this failure, he also realized that you know. Uh, uh, that uh, competitive spirit. Not, uh, I mean, he uh, he also developed competitive spirit within him. Okay, manse by ra say you have to learn to be competitive, ponsa, right? Uh, because uh, until and unless a person is not competitive in nature, he or she will never progress in life, ponsa. But then competition does not mean again, you know, uh, going to the extent of hurting somebody and uh, trying to win anything, uh, you know, uh, due to unfair means. Okay, competition has to be there, but it has to be good competition. So this is what uh, Ebright learned, and then Ule Bande said, "Next year fair day, I will definitely do a real experiment." Bande Ule Thaniyo Ule Socha. But now he made a promise to himself, right? And he knew, okay, he knew that the subject science ma pani various categories unsa. So the subject in science that I'm most comfortable with is. Uh, Insects. So next year, say mo project say mo kis ko bisaya mo gorsu insect ko bisaya mo gorsu because shano dikin mo insect hero lai ta maile kati handle gare ko, okay? So this is what he thought. 
So he wrote to Dr. Urku Hart for ideas and back came a stack of suggestions for experiments. Those kept Ebright busy all through high school and led to prize projects in county and international science fairs. Then he thought about one man. Now who was he? If you remember the book, okay, The Travels of Monar 10, there, if you remember, there was this uh, doctor, Dr. Urkuhart, and he used to work at uh, Toronto University. So, usle Toronto University ko yo Dr. Urkuhart lai chiti lekyo. Jaanse ule lekyo, sir, uh, I would like to, you know, uh, do some projects on uh, insects, so can you please help me? Tapani malai ki suggestions hai dinu saksa, banera ule chiti leke ra, so de ra pathai te chiti ma. Then the doctor Urkuhart le bani usko reply pathai, tiyum eutta hai na dherai reply pathai. Ra yo sappe replies hai, the sappe ideas hai, ruzha doctor Urkuhart le ula ideas deko theo, suggestions hai ru hai. यो पढ्नमा उसको टाइम बित्यो है र उले यो एक्सपेरिमेन्टहरु गर्दै गर्दै गयो सो मच सो दैट उ हाई स्कुल मा त उले त कति वटा प्राइज जितेछ नॉट जस्ट इन काउन्टी उनीहरुको रिजन मा मात्र हैन बट इन्टरनेशनल फेयर्स मा पनि है फर हिज 8th ग्रेड प्रोजेक्ट इब्राइट ट्राइड टु फाइन्ड द कॉज अफ अ भाइरल डिजीज दैट किल्स नियरली ऑल मोनार कैटरपिलर्स एभ्री फ्यू इयर्स नाउ चिल्ड्रन वी नो दैट यू नो डिजीजेस आर सच दैट किल्स एभ्री लिविंग अर्गानिजम और एभ्री लिविंग बीइंग राइट सो यो मोनार्क भने बटरफ्लाई है पनि एउटा भाइरल डिजीज हुँदै रहेछ जुन चाहिँ चाहिँ सालमा एभ्री फ्यू इयर्स है एक दुई वर्ष भित्रमा चाहिँ आउँदै रहेछ एकखेप नभए एकखेप र यो भाइरल डिजीज आउँदाखेरि चाहिँ व्हाट ह्यापेन्स अल दिस मोनाक बटरफ्लाइज दे डाई ओके सो ही वान्टेड है ही वान्टेड टु फाइन्ड ही वान्टेड टु फाइन्ड द रिजन वाई दे डाई ओके वाई एन्ड हु ब्रिङ्स द भाइरल डिजिज भनेर ही वान्टेड टु फाइन्ड द रिजन Ebright thought the disease might be carried by a beetle. So Ebright lese sunche ko theory sa. Shayad yo disease, yo viral disease se koli leong sa. Yo beetle bani kira le, insect le hai. So, okay. He tried raising caterpillars in the presence of beetles. I didn't get any real results, he said. But I went ahead and showed that I had tried the experiment and this time I won. So, when they say, Usle se beetle lai layo, ra beetle song sangye, ule butterflies hai rakhyo, yo monarch pune butterflies hai. He tried to see whether it was the beetle that brings the, you know, the viral disease or not. And results than iske na, he wasn't able to find out whether it was the beetles in reality that actually brought the disease. But he went ahead with this project. He went ahead experiment with this project. He went ahead with this program. He went ahead with the judges. And because this time, he went ahead with the real experiment. He won the prize. So when he did this real experiment this time, now please remember, he experiment the choreo, but he did the result, you know, he wasn't like successful enough. But that didn't matter. What mattered was he had really put in hard work and this time he had actually done a lot of survey and, you know, he had experimented. So which is why he won a prize for this time. Alright? So now... The next year, his science fair project was testing the theory that Viceroy butterflies copy monarchs. The theory was that Viceroy look like monarchs because monarchs don't taste good to birds. Viceroys, on the other hand, do taste good to birds. So the more they look like monarchs, the less likely they are to become a bird's dinner. So next, uh, boy, to, to year 8, class 8, Mata, he won the prize. Now when he was in class 9, again he took part in a science uh, fair, okay, science, uh, sorry, competition. Yes, Pali, say, what he, what was his uh, topic was, Viceroy, Bani, again, it's another kind of uh, butterflies. So here his topic was, Viceroy butterflies, Bani, say, monarch butterfly like copy, Ganu, 
Now see, animals ma pani, eh? insects ma pani, he was, he tried to find it. So why? Abo why do viceroy, viceroy bani butterfly che, kino monarch bani butterfly like copy gonu khotsa bani vichi? Because viceroy butterfly se ekdami tasty under is, mito under is. Okay, so I go like ekdami mito under is. <coughs> Whereas monarch butterflies bani che, it is a tasty under in is. So viceroy butterfly mito bai ko karan leka the birds se le unai like hansa. So birds are not house but they try to look like monarchs to look So that birds think that hey, you're a monarch butterfly you're like handina because you're not my tones of an era. So I hope you understood that. Okay. He found that a starling would not eat ordinary bird food. It would eat all the monarchs it could get. But again you're bright lizzy. It was starling when it's all around there is a just they say all butterflies can't us okay he never uh, the starling when the butterflies they say a uh, uh, bird lazy or butterflies can't then there is a tube bird lazy monarch mother mon pronoun there's a gay okay so e bright said later research by other people showed that viceroy probably do copy the monarch this project was placed first in the zoology department and third overall in the county science fair. Then, abe neapani uli you know later oru manche le experiment got the kiri uli tiu se thannu sokyo. He came to you know come to the conclusion that yes, viceroy butterflies se unhele se monarch butterflies like copy se gorde re saha banana. They try to look like them banana se thapaiyo oru ko project doara. All right. Rabandi sir, you project le pani first prize pa is zoology division ma. Ra overall to area ko district to county level area banse unale third prize pa is okay. In his second year in high school, Richard E. Bright began the research that led to his discovery of an unknown insect hormone. Indirectly. It also led to his new theory on the life of cells. So when he was in second year in high school, high school ko second year hunda kere, he began the research. Ule, he research try goryo. Just leze yu zankari hasil goryo that unknown insect ko hormone discover goryo ule. Okay? Ra ule yu unknown insect ko hormone discover gorda kere, ule yu noya gyan puni payo. Okay, ra ule wa noya theory nikalio, ra theo theory che kis ko bisayima theo baniu ji, life of cells ko bisayima. Kheri mo bandi su, when he was in second year of high school, u second year high school ma hunda kheri, Richard E. Brightly ewa research start gario, ra yo research start gada kheri, ule ewa noya cheese discover gario, te noya cheese se ki theo banda kheri, ule ewa insect ko hormones ule discover gario, unknown insect ko. Kunche insect we don't know, but ule insect ko se hormones discover gariyo. Ratiyo hormone discover gata gata hai, ule ewa noya theory bhi ni discover gariyo. Ratiyo se ke thiyo? Life of cells. I mean, sab pe zana man che, animals, all living things, we have cells, alright? So, tiyo cells ko life ko bhi saima ule, yo theory bhi ni ule discover gariyo. Now, for this, I am not the right person to talk to. You say to me, the science teacher I should do, all right? Because I think this will be best explained by science teacher and I will not be able to give justice. Anyways, the question he tried to answer was simple. What is the purpose of the 12 tiny gold spots on a monarch pupa? Okay? So, Ule ewa question, like say, answer gonna try you. The question is, what is the purpose of 12 tiny gold spots on a monarch pupa? Monarch pupa, its wings, 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 its yeah, I know the spots the you know beautiful dekhnu lagi matyo ornamental bhaneko ornaments 
हमी ऑर्नमेंट्स गहना है रुकी ना लॉन्ग्स वाई डू वी वेयर ऑर्नमेंट्स हमी देखी ना कान को है हमी देखी ना नेकलेस है लॉन्ग्स सो डेट वी लुक नाइस है ना सो लाइकवाइज सब पहले बने थे आई नो त्यो यू नो डॉट्स तो त्यो बटरफ्लाई लाइ ब्यूटीफुल देहानु लगी पता हो बने रा सब पहले बने हो ओके बट डॉक्टर उर्को हार्ट डिडंट बिलीव इट तोरा डॉक्टर उर्को हार्ट लेसी बिलीव करे ना टू फाइंड द आंसर ईब्राइट एंड अनदर एक्सिलेंट साइंस स्टूडेंट फर्स्ट हैड टू बिल्ड अ डिवाइस that showed that the spots were producing a hormone necessary for the butterfly's full development so you answer sab pehle ta ornaments ho bhanyo hai it is just for ornamental purpose bhanyo beautiful dekhnu lagi bhanyo tara doctor urko hat le pani believe gare na ra tei karan e bright and his friend another brilliant student arko gyani nani hai ra e bright le sikhi gareyo bhanyo ji unhe le answers khojnu lagi आप डिवाइस बनायो एटा इंस्ट्रुमेंट बनायो रो इस्ट्रुमेंट द्वारा उन्हें यो प्रूफ गयो ओके उन्हें यो प्रूफ गयो दैट त्यो स्पट्स जो सब ऑर्नमेंटल को लगी मत हो ब्यूटिफुल देखने लगी मत हो एक्चुअली ब्यूटिफुल को लगी है बट वैदर के हर्मोन डेवलप होदे कि प्रड्यूस होद जिसले बटरफ्लाई को फुल डेवलपमेंट में काम लगद बटरफ्लाई लुल डेवलप होगी तो हर्मोन से स्पट्स ने प्रड्यूस करद चाल पाओ दिस प्रोजेक्ट वन ई ब्राइट फर्स्ट प्लेस इन द काउंटी फेयर एंड एंट्री इंटू द इंटरनेशनल साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग फेयर देर ही वन थर्ड प्लाई प्राइज फर जोलॉजी He also got a chance to work during the summer at the entomology laboratory of the Walter Reed Army Institute of Research. Ra yo project hai le garda keri e bright le first prize jite usko county fair ma ra international science and engineering fair bhai ko ra lagdo fair ho tyo fair ma pani unai le bhag lene chance payo hai ra ule zoology ma He won the third place. Ra he also got it. Ran amam. Eota project le he is getting so many prizes. He also got a chance to work summer break ma. So he also got a chance to work at entomology laboratory of the Walter Reed Army Institute of Research. Yo Army Institute of Research ma. Ule tio lab ma. Kam gane wa moka pani payo. Which is a great deal for science students. Only they know the value of it. All right. So with this, I think uh, we should, uh, you know, stop here because it will be futile for me to continue as we are already running short of time. But uh, till then, I'm sure you are able to, you know, uh, find answers. I think we've already found answers for the three questions, right? One was in page number. Uh, thirty-three, thirty-two. Sorry, where by they've questioned us as to how the book became a turning point in Richard E. Bright's life. Second was how did his mother help him? We've already found the answer to that as well. And then what lesson does E. Bright learn when he does not win anything at a science fair? That also we found the answer. What experiments and projects does he then undertake? For that too, we've already found the answer. Now, for answer num question number five, we are yet to find the answer from the text. But I have already given you my, uh, you know, my understanding of what a good uh, scientist, uh, wh- what uh, a good scientist should have, the qualities that a good scientist ought to have. Okay, so that was my understanding. I've given the answers as per my understanding. We will read tomorrow and then come to know as to what the text feels. Okay, what the author. the fields are the qualities required uh, for um, uh, a person to become a good scientist and uh, uh, let me also tell you that uh, Uh, you know reading is something that you all have to do and uh, reading is very important uh, please do try to read the uh, books that have the names that have been already given you in uh, suggested reading so there are books like journey by night 
by Nora Burke and then Children Who Made It Big by Thangamani and School Days by Tom Brown. So if you can get hold of these books and since it is, uh, you know, right now there's no school, you all are at home, uh, possibly doing uh, nothing uh, uh, you know important or uh, some anything related to school other than of course the normal uh, classes that your teachers have been giving so if you do get the time and if you are interested especially this is for those interested in science maybe you could read uh, these books okay uh, and maybe these books will uh, give you uh, i i don't know i haven't read these books so i really cannot talk about the book as such but then you know these books maybe it will give you a deeper insight into um, the world of science and of course it is definitely going to help you improve your uh, word vocabulary and uh, also give you uh, extra knowledge about the uh, contents of the uh, book so having said that, I wish you all a safe stay at home. Please follow the necessary safety tips that your parents and everybody has been giving you time and again. And please take care. I'll meet you next week, uh, every Monday and Tuesday, same time, that is 1 to 2. Thank you and have a good day.